November 15th. The memory of the holy confessors and martyrs Gurias, Simonas, and Habib. The holy martyrs Gurias and Simonas were priests in the region of Edessa at the outset of Diocletian's persecution. They were hailed before the governor, charged with giving aid and comfort to their imprisoned brethren and with encouraging, in spite of every threat, all the Christians to stand steadfast in the faith. When the governor tried to make them apostatize, the confessors told him, We will not betray the one and only God of heaven. We are not going to exchange him for a man-made image. We worship Christ God, who in his goodness has saved us from delusion. He is our light, our physician, and our life. The governor accused them of rebelling against the imperial edicts and promised them a death of dreadful sufferings if they persisted in their obstinacy. We shall not die as you suppose, they replied, but according to our faith we shall live if we do the will of him who has created us. We are not afraid of your torments which do not last long and then are gone as if they had never been. What we fear is the eternal punishment that awaits wicked men and apostates. Our God will enable us to bear the tortures which we have to endure only for a while and which disappear when the spirit has left the body. When he heard this, the governor ordered them to be held in custody with other priests and deacons. Some days later, he had them brought out and hung for five hours by one hand. As they suffered in silence and shook their heads at every offer of the executioners, they were thrown into a dungeon called the Dark Hole, where they remained for three and a half months in total darkness with almost nothing to eat or drink. At their second appearance before the tribunal, Their firmness of purpose was no less than on the previous occasion, and they said to the governor, We have already told you that our faith and our word are unshakable. Do what you have been commanded by the emperor. You have power over our bodies, but not over our souls. They were hung by their feet, but continued to make their prayer to God to give them the endurance of the patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs who had suffered before them for the truth. On the 15th of November... Simonus and Gorius were finally brought before the tribunal to be sentenced to death. Simonus, whose kneecap had been broken, was carried, and because of his age, Gorius was supported by soldiers. On hearing the sentence, their faces shone with joy, and they said, We are the most wretched of men. We do not deserve to be numbered among the righteous and compared to them. But we take comfort in the word of our Master. He who loses his life for my sake will find it. All praise to him who has counted us worthy to bear every torment for the name of Jesus Christ. Before he beheaded them, the executioner spoke to them, saying, Pray for me, I beg you, for I am doing evil in the sight of God. Simonas and Gorius knelt down towards the east and prayed to God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive our spirits and preserve our bodies until the resurrection. They offered their necks to the sword and were beheaded, the one after the other. On hearing of their martyrdom, the whole population of the city rushed to the place to take up all that remained of them, even to the blood-soaked dust. They were laid to rest surrounded by incense, perfumes, psalms, and canticles that were offered to the glory of God, who had shown his power in the perseverance of the martyrs. St. Habib was a deacon in the time of Licinius, who ruled after Diocletian and who launched a new persecution in 309. Habib traveled in secret around the villages of the Edessa region, gathering the faithful in the churches, reading the scriptures to them, and encouraging them to stand firm in the truth of the faith, without fear of persecutors. On hearing what the bold deacon was doing, the governor Licinius was very angry. He gave orders for his arrest, but since Habib could not be found, his family and the people of his village were seized. When this news reached the saint, he went straight to Edessa and gave him up to the captain of the governor's guard. The captain did his best to persuade him to flee, assuring him that there was no risk to his family. But the saint would not, for he was convinced that it was God's will that he finish his course by martyrdom. Habib showed such fearlessness under interrogation and so much contempt for the idols that the governor was moved to fury and had him scourged ruthlessly. Some days later he was again brought before Lysanias. 
Since he had persisted in rejecting the idols, they hung him on a frame and mangled his flesh with iron combs. Threatened with other and even more dreadful tortures, the saint replied, As a tree that is watered bears fruit, so is my will strengthened by torments. Seeing his own powerlessness, the tyrant said to the martyr, Does your religion teach you to hate your own body and to delight in sufferings? We do not hate our bodies, Habib replied, but we rejoice in contemplating the invisible realities confirmed by the promise that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that awaits those who love Christ. Considering that the sword would give the martyr too easy a death, the governor ordered that he should be burnt in a slow fire. He was taken to it at the end of a lead attached to his mouth. His mother, dressed in white as for a feast day, walked by his side. When they arrived at the place of execution, Habib prayed, then turning round he blessed the assembled crowd who wished him the peace of God. When the wood began to crackle in the flames, he opened his mouth and immediately gave up his soul. The Christians pulled his body out of the fire, and after anointing it and pouring perfume upon it, they laid it on the bundles of wood. His holy body was buried in the same tomb as Saints Gorius and Simonas. Blessed is our world. to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. given us the miracles of thy holy martyrs as an invincible battlement. By their entreaties scatter the counsels of the heathen, O Christ our God, and strengthen the faith of orthodox Christians. Since thou alone art good and the friend of man. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea with dry shod feet, Israel of old vanquished the might of Amalek in the wilderness, by Moses' arms stretched out in the form of the cross. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Dawning like luminous eastern stars, O saints, he reverently declared the theology of the single sovereignty of the Trinity, easily dissipating the shifting mist of the multiple sovereignty of the pagan gods. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The three confessors, shining evidently with the grace of the sovereign trinity, utterly destroyed the polytheism of error when they showed persevering resistance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He that is the Son by nature, who first made you sons by adoptions, O glorious martyrs, has now, because he is compassionate, 
shown you for as joint heirs of the inheritance given him of his father, and partakers of his kingdom, both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art become the tabernacle of the wisdom beyond wisdom, O August and all blameless virgin. For he was well pleased to build himself a house from thine immaculate blood for the salvation of our souls. Thy church does rejoice in thee, O Christ, O God, as she does cry out in joy. Thou art my soul, steadfastness, my strength, and my refuge are thou, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Willingly did Christ confessors and ministers give their bodies over to tortures and die of scorching. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Intercede, O saints, and those who faithfully sing the praises of your contest, be delivered from the twisted reasonings of sin. Glory to the Father. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Manfully enduring to be hanged on a tree, the hallowed martyrs most piously preserve their confession of faith on heart. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that descended into thy womb has shown thee to be a fountain of healings, O all pure Mother of God. Wherefore, heal my soul. Being armed with the cross of the Saviour Christ, by its grace he destroyed all the tyrant's strength. With valour and bravery as the champions of the faith, ye laid bare all the godless deceit of idolatry and most zealously preached of the all-holy trinity, from whom ye have worthily received crowns of victory, as they that strove lawfully in the contest of piety, O Allah, did prize-winning saints, intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By conceiving the wisdom and word of God in thy womb without being consumed thereby, thou bearest for all the world him that filleth the universe. Thou hast held in thine arms him that holdeth together all, him who nourishes all the Creator and Lord of all. Wherefore I beseech thee, O thou all holy virgin, and mother of God, that I be redeemed from my many sins, when I shall have to stand before the face of my Creator and God of your Lady, Theotokos, help me then, for thou canst do whatsoever thou dost will, O blameless one. Beholding thee lifted up upon the cross, O Son of Righteousness, the Church stood rooted in place, crying out, as is meet, glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Mercilessly wrapped with manifold torments, the prize winners showed to all the firmness of their endurance, crying with one voice, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The crown victors, equal in number to the Trinity, shine as a lamp of tri triple brightness on those who now keep their all sacred memory, awarding healings unto all. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. O you of godly mind, let us run with reverence to the light-bearing and bright-beaming reliquary of the martyrs, for it overflows with healings for them that cry with faith. Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Confessing with tongues of theology the mystery of the unfathomable divine dispensation, 
the godly and all wise confessors dashed all godlessness to the ground. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Past understanding didst thou conceive, O virgin, and after giving birth thou wast virgin still. Great is the mystery of thy conception, O Mother Immaculate and Ever Virgin. Thou hast come, O my Lord, as a light unto the world, a holy light turning from the darkness of ignorance, those to him thee with faith. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Shining clearly with the splendor of their struggles, the bulwarks of the faith belittled the tyrant's impotent audacity. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The martyrs' miracles have been manifestly distributed unto the uttermost parts of the habitable earth and have confirmed all men in the faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The divine Shemun Aguria and Habib, like good earth, received the seeds of grace, and richly cultivated them with assiduous discipline. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. He who alone is good, the sea of kindness, who holds together the whole universe, Deign to be held in thine arms, O Mother of God. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus cries the Church unto thee. For by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demons' gore. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Since you are lawfully tempered in all things as good soldiers, O godly-minded martyrs, and plainly kept the faith, you have taken the crown of divine righteousness. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. As Abacum was once lifted up in the air at the Master's command, so is the oppressed young woman restored to her mother by you, O God, proclaim us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The martyr's shrine flashes lightning-like, with miracles and gushes forth healings to all that draw nigh and marvel with faith at their endurance. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Finding thee alone as a most pure lily among the thorns and the flower of the valleys, O Mother of God, the spiritual bridegroom made his dwelling in thee. Ye gained from on high my much grace, O wise, O Lord, it saints, and thus ye protect all them found in ordeals and trust. For this cause, O martyrs, did ye save a young woman from bitter death, in that ye are in very truth the glory of Odessa and joy of all. Rescue me from the enemy's bondage, O Jesus, giver of life, entreated as thou art by the supplications of thine athletes, so that possessing soul and body unenslaved to the passions, I may acclaim their exceedingly swift help. For they speedily rescued from death the bitterly lamenting damsel whom her mother had entrusted to the martyrs while crying out to them, Ye are the glory of Edessa and joy of all. Ye are the glory of Edessa and joy of all. The children of Abraham in the Persian furnace, afire with love of piety more than with the flame, cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Since he is compassionate, he that delivered the Abramite children in the furnace, now save the young woman in a strange land from dire peril through the mediation of his servants. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The destroyer of evil name gave a recklessly inhuman judgment, but by thy righteous judgment, O word and wisdom and power of God, he was suddenly called to account for all his wickedness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Made strong with hope in you, O glorious martyrs, 
The young woman shut up in a tomb with the dead failed not of her expectation while crying out, Blessed are thou, my Lord and my God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like a newly polished looking glass reflecting a bright light, O Virgin, thou held the sparkling brightness of the divine beam that lit upon thee. Blessed are thou among women, O all blameless lady. When Daniel stretched out his hands in the den, he shut the gaping mouths of the lions, and the children, those lovers of piety, who were girt about with virtue, quenched the might of fire as they cried, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Today the bright and universal festival of Christ martyrs has come to us, shedding the grace of miracles round about upon all that have recourse to them, crying out with faith and spiritual joy. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The confessors of thy divinity, O Master, easily destroyed all the godlessness of the tyrants, not fearing their threats, but mightily crying out, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The all-wise confessors, the champions of divine doctrine, put the ranks of the foes to flight when slain with the sword, verily obtaining a strange and resplendent victory. For in falling they vanquished the adversary. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Thou gavest birth to Christ, seen in two natures, but plainly bearing one composite hypostasis, the divinity in concourse with the humanity, in a union truly transcending the mind. Wherefore we all bless thee, O Mary, Bride of God. When Christ, the chief cornerstone, not cut by the hand of man, was cut from thee the unhewed mountain of virgin, he joined together the separated natures, wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Following the Saviour's divine and divinely inspired words, O admirable confessors, bright with divine light, you took the cross on your shoulders with joy, following in his life-bearing footsteps. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Going forth with joy onto the entirety of the light of the Trinity, the noble confessors received the rewards for their struggles, being deemed worthy to dwell with the incorporeal order. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Not in a mirror do you now behold the hopes of the blessed, O all wise confessors of the Saviour, but you yourselves mirror the beauty of the truth, O all venerable crown bearer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Clearly equal in number to the Trinity, God transcendent, O God, proclaiming confessors, you shine with his brightness and have vouchsafed incorruptible life because you contest it for his sake. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having willed to come in the flesh, the Word who ordered all things dwelled in thee, for he found thee alone to be holier than all, and he showed thee to be the Theotokos in truth, O Virgin Mother, as ye in former times preserved the woman cast into a tomb, from bitter death, O ye martyrs, but thereupon ye surrendered the lawless goth to death, O saints, do ye deliver me as well from mine unruly passions now, that I might joyfully honor your brightly beaming remembrance. Wisdom, O 
most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O oh, hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O oh, true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles with the power and under the protection of the Holy and life-giving cross of the Lord. With the prayers of all fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great of Egypt, Brandon, the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Gurias, Shamonas, and Habib of Edessa, with the prayers of our venerable father Paisius Velichikovsky the Great, with the prayers of Saint Malo, Saint Fintan, and Saint Machel, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. He is good and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.